fleet of works, understanding that uh, it's interesting that uh, Freedom's only been tried a short period of time. If you look at six, 10,000 years of history, there hasn't been all that much freedom. Most of the recorded history, you have dictators and kings and pharaohs, uh, you know, ruling. And even if you look at the world today, even those special governments that we prop up, like Saudi Arabia and other places, we prop up so many dictators. We gave $40 billion to uh, Mubarak uh, and, uh, and, and all the money that we have spent to prop up. So it's been uh, only a small test. We've had the best test in this country. We've had the freest system and the most prosperous system. And yet, we're letting it slip on. And you're getting this. But it really isn't that difficult. If we just did one thing to look at the problems that we have, see where the problems came from, if we did just one thing, we could solve most of these problems. And that is, only send people to Washington, D.C., who will uphold their oath of office and obey the Constitution.
and that is uh, the taxes should be cut. The ideal tax is zero income tax, no inheritance tax. Don't tax the corporations who want to bring their money back home. Uh, don't chase the corporations overseas by overtaxation and overregulation. Quit giving the money to the corporations that are living off us. That's what we have to do, not tax the people who want to keep their money. things. If we don't, I have a new assessment. We better be prepared because it's going to get a lot worse. But it doesn't have to be. And from the messages I'm getting back from the people who have supported the campaign, it's very, very positive. And from what I sense, I think we're going to do very well, not only across the country, but very well in this state on January 3rd. And I want to thank you.